Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a great week behind you and that you're looking forward to your weekend ahead. But first, we have another Hot Cartel Challenge to take care of and oh boy, it is a challenging one indeed. Not the Hot Cartel uh, bit, but the other bits. Anyway, I'll talk more about it as I'm going through. As always, I'll cover the modifiers and the feats and then show you the battles that got me uh, max grade here. So I've got three battles in total for you. First, I'll be doing Hot Cartel uh, that will do also the Thermal Detonators feat and then two different teams there without using Galactic Legends, how to get the Crush Them feat where you have to defeat at least three enemies in the same turn. So let's look at the modifiers first for Hoth, Frigid Expanse. Now this modifier is a part of the problem why the Crush Them feat is slightly more challenging than usual. Uh, it's just because you're on time clock, uh, every time you take a turn, uh, you get a stack of Frostbite. Once that reaches 10, the unit is instantly defeated. You do get uh, the Thermoregulate ability there that you can use every three turns, uh, but obviously it only removes two stacks. So eventually either enemies or or your guys will die off before you live before they're able to line up that aoe uh, so then we got standard hot cartel modifier this allows us to really cheese even with low gear hot cartel and thrill of the hunt bounty hunters they're just very a lot more durable to begin with and whenever they do get the contract triggered they all get frenzy so needless to say if they do get their contract i think your battle will be over very very quickly now it's not only global modifier that's part of the problem, it's also even once you burn through the Thrill of the Hunt, uh, their modifier, their true defense down, they're still very tanky, very durable, like you do 60k crit on them, like it's nobody's business. Uh, I think uh, looking at the damage from uh, Exposes, for example, that deals 20% damage of max health, there is like 100k, so they all have like a half a million health or something, and that's what makes it a little bit challenging here to really defeat them quickly uh, and easily all in uh, you know one turn at least three of them. Uh, but anyway, more about that again once we get through the battles in terms of feet, hot cartel obviously, uh, and then also the thermal detonator one. Uh, this one I was actually able to get done as well with hot cartel in my first try, so it looks like you know it can be done quite easily. And then crush and feed, these ones I tried a few different teams, so I'll show you two teams that uh, I found the easiest uh, to line up the hits. And let's just first kick off the Hot Cartel one. As always, as usual, I'll be going with Cat Bane lead because his contract is very easily triggered. And then I'll be going in with uh, Greedo, uh, Mob Enforcer and Leia. They all have Thermal Detonators for a Thermal Detonator feat. And obviously you need Kersantan there uh, to have Permatont on him so they will forever be stuck behind him. Uh, but that, you know, it's a straightforward hot cartel challenge from that point of view. Um, as any others, you just kind of keep throwing your thermal detonators, let Leia go to town, keep stacking those thermal detonators, and eventually the enemies will fall for modo stacking thermal detonators. Now, because it's not just about winning, it's actually uh, attempting to apply 40 thermal detonators uh, feet here as well. Uh, once you do get their Leia down, this will totally kind of stop their uh, really damage. Uh, and in order to trigger a contract, so uh, maybe Mando can insta-kill somebody, um, they need to defeat whoever went first, but you know, they're not very clever, these guys, they're just all over the place, they keep getting obsessed there with, you know, all these uh, hot cartel that are low in health, and they simply won't die because of the hot cartel modifier, so we lay out, uh, what I did was then, uh, I just just went all out just on, just keep attacking Kersant and he's very durable very tanky and I wanted to keep the other guys alive as long as I could so whenever I do those AoEs with Greedo and AoEs uh, with Leia that apply thermal detonators to everybody that I have more targets alive uh, and then good thing about it is both with Mando and Boba they both have bounty hunters resolve so if they do get to 10 stacks of frostbite which eventually they will they will revive because the modifier does not prevent a revive so again it'll give you more targets for further um into the battle for to be applying those thermal detonators uh, so again once layers down you just keep focusing over on um uh, Kersantan, just keep using your specials to stack thermal detonators and eventually you will get them down uh, quite easily. So this was my first and only hot cartel attempt. It was very straightforward. Got the thermal detonators done as well. Brilliant. Definitely want to bring in Mob Enforcer, Greedo and Leia because they all have thermal detonators. Uh, moving on now to the more 
challenging feats, uh, crush them, where you have to defeat at least three enemies in the same turn. I've got two teams for you. Uh, the first one will be Admiral Radus. Uh, now, why Radus? Because you look at his leadership uh, whenever your guys are being critically hit. Uh, the at enemy will gain expose, which can't be resisted. So essentially, we'll kind of uh, exploit their uh, tankiness, if you will, uh, because exposes will do a lot of damage, 20% of their max health. Uh, so that's essentially what you'll have to do, just kind of stack those exposes and then unload an AoE. On top of that, uh, as well, he has nice synergy there with Jin. The Jin can't be defeated uh, while Admiral Radis is alive. So a little bit exploit again Boba's contract. Uh, more about it later on. Uh, Cassian here is great as well because his crippling shot can copy debuffs to the target enemy. Uh, so again, you know, you can then quickly copy a lot of exposes from one person to another. Again, adding, you know, the chance to uh, finish them off in an AoE. And now speaking of Jin, what you will want to do, you will want her to be the fastest in your team. So you can then totally cheese them because then they will uh, often just keep going after Jin because they're trying to trigger their contract under Boba's lead they have to defeat whoever from your guys took the first turn and Jin can't be defeated while Redis is alive and they'll keep going after Jin and they'll never get to the contract and that's how you'll be able to cheese your way through this one while you're slowly grinding them down through exposes whenever they critically hit you other than that you know it's a pretty straightforward thing to run so let's just hop in the battle now and let me talk you through it um so there you go uh, we go first here, Jean. Just get a stun on Boba. Why not? And then just go ahead. Uh, I don't. I don't really use Admiral Rados all that much, so I just kind of don't really know what I'm doing. To be honest, I'm just kind of using specials here. You obviously have to pay attention to thermoregulate. Um, but as you can see, they're getting lots of exposures every time they critically hit. So you actually be able to get them down quite quickly. To be honest. Okay, Leia always, you know, is the biggest of a problem, but because of her, her AoEs, she will stack uh, a lot of exposes. So there you go, we copy that expose there to the target uh, with Cassian, so it was pretty nice. Again, kind of thermoregulating here, smashing AoEs. Um, you just kind of have to really wait until you get to your ultimate ability there when download progress is complete. So this is the case where G now is literally at 1% health and they cannot defeat her, which means they can't get to their contract. Uh, once once we hit our download progress, we'll unleash uh, our ultimate. But in the meantime, again, whenever you, you can use thermoregulate, go ahead and use it. You do want to be able to survive long enough this one. This is not a sprint, it's a marathon. There we go. Let's unload the ultimate. Uh, we got uh, their disabled, uh, their protection now. Uh, you just want to now kind of try to avoid using AoEs uh, K2. Why, why taking out their uh, grief? Maybe K2 isn't the best option because of his counterattacks, but I was still able to get it to work. Now, you just don't want to really do too many AoEs here. Uh, you just want to kind of line them up slowly, uh, let them stack a lot of exposes on themselves, and then you can unload an AoE. There we go, just getting more debuff out there with Cassian. There we go, copied again, exposed from another enemy. Uh, with uh, casting a scrippling shot. Let's just go stall this out, keep using thermoregulate while we are lining these guys up. No AoEs, because I do have two exposes, four exposes, five exposes, six exposes on Boba, two on Leia, uh, two on Mando. So now I think once I do eventually load unload an AoE, that should be enough damage from exposes that they actually get defeated. Leia now even has four exposes on her, Mando two, and I can just go ahead, unload an AoE, and boof, they vanish because of all these exposes. Now Mando came back, but doesn't matter, it still counted as defeat, uh, because we did defeat him, he just revived because he had the Bounty Hunters resolve. And that's pretty much it. Take Leia out, and then just kind of uh, get to your ultimate, so you disable their protection, uh, and then kind of just keep going after Karsantan with, you know, single target attacks. He's very durable, he'll take it. Keep using thermoregulated to stay alive and let other guys stack exposes on themselves. And once they've got enough exposes, remember every expose uh, will deal 20% of their max health. Um, so then pretty much you can unload an AoE. Once they've got lots of exposes on them and you will defeat three enemies in the same turn. And then you're just down to here. Uh, Mando, so you can see here I was getting quite high already on thermoregulate. I'm like, oh man, I gotta finish off Mando before I ran out of uh, thermoregulate abilities. Uh, but eventually I did get him down because now he's stunned he won't be critting me he won't be exposing himself so <laughs> I'm saying they're very durable here 
Uh, come on, almost got him. Uh, which one's my success? This one? Oh no, that's the AOE. <laughs> I said, I'm still kind of learning to use Admiral Redis. In GSC, you usually just put him down on defense, and uh, that's pretty much it. This is an, uh, a mass assist, right? Yeah, there we go. Come on, we are on timer here. We're already eight, eight stacks of Thermal Regate on Jean, eight over on Redis. Come on, almost got him. That should do it. Oh, not quite. Uh, let's go ahead and remove uh, Thermal Regulate on Redis and Jean, because they've got nine stacks. And there we go, perfect. So this now finished as well, crashed and feed. Now Admiral Redis is quite a new unit, so I appreciate that probably most of you don't have Rogue One leveled up yet to this degree that they can be successful. Uh, so what you can also do is use Darth Revan and BB-8. Now why BB-8? Because once you reach Illuminated Destiny, it will apply exposes on all the enemies. Uh, so again, we'll be utilizing Expose here to do enough damage, otherwise trying to line them up in a way that you can do pure AoE without kind of Expose or something will be very challenging. Why Sith Empire? They've got Fear, they got Stuns, they got Shock, they've got lots of ways to control the enemies while you're slowly kind of spreading the damage, building up uh, as well your uh, Illuminated Destiny and then once you've got everybody kind of, you know, uh, in low health, you unload the uh, Illuminated Destiny, they get exposed and then just unload an AoE and they will get defeated. So to begin with, uh, you just kind of really want to keep everybody under control. Leia is like a galactic legend, you can't stun her, you can't remove the meter from her, you can't fear her, I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, yeah, so Leia is a handful, so you definitely will want to probably go after her first. However, with Darth Revan Lee, this might prove challenging to take her out first because as soon as you get her below 50% health, Boba gets that mark on him and you will have to go after Boba. Uh, so what, it, what I ended up in the end was, I've just defeated Boba and then I started spreading the damage all around uh, until I had a, uh, until they were low enough that Expose would heal them. There we go. Finished off Boba there uh, with the death mark on him, HK assassinated him and now just a case of no kind, no AoEs really, just kind of basics here. Um, stalling out the Illuminated Destiny until I'm ready. Um, to begin with, you definitely have to protect uh, BB-8 because he went first and if they defeat BB-8, they get contract. Um, so definitely, that's why you need Sith Empire to keep fearing everybody. I keep stunning uh, uh, their grief if I can so he doesn't heal everybody up because then this will ruin your run. I've got everybody in lone health. There we go. Illuminated Destiny. They all get exposes on them and now either Revan there or Basti with her White Lightning got an AoE. Boom. Four enemies defeated in the same Turn. So these were kind of the two teams uh, without using Galactic Legend that I found the easiest to set up just because of the exposed mechanics they have. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Hope you find it useful and helpful uh, showing you how I got max rewards quite easily this time. Let me know how you guys are getting on. But until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun, enjoy life and may the RNG be with you my friends.